So after the whole farce of Facebook effectively giving over a lot of private information to Cambridge Analytica, I thought I would take a look at my own Facebook information and oh, well, I'll take a look at a couple other things in relation to this whole subject as well. So from the soft, Mozilla releases Firefox add-on that prevents Facebook from spying on you. Facebook is not actually a free service. You are effectively paying for it with your information. Your privacy or lack of privacy is effectively what is funding Facebook. The add-on Mozilla have created is called Facebook Container and promises to put you in control while isolating your web activity from Facebook. When you install it, you will continue to be able to use Facebook normally. Facebook can continue to deliver their service to you and send advertising, said Mozilla, but the difference is it will be much harder for Facebook to use your activity collected off Facebook and send you ads and other targeted messages. Wow. So that was a little bit of information about it. And there you are, you have the option to containerize Facebook. So I'll leave a link to this article in the video description. The fast about Cambridge Analytica. Well, it appears to have been abuse of an app called This Is Your Digital Life. And was built by a psychologist at Cambridge University to test theories of personality modeling on the basis of Facebook likes. 270,000 people used the app, but it also collected data on their friends. Facebook knew of This Is Your Digital Life, but was under the impression it was geared purely towards academic research. A user who checked the terms and conditions, <laughs> yeah, and who among us ever does that, would have thought the same. What nobody knew until earlier this month was that data was being sent straight to Cambridge Analytica, which was then putting it into the work of, well, the presidential campaign in America and not the one for Hillary Clinton. Yes, the other guy, that uh, pile of cheesy what sits in an ill-fitting suit. Yeah, I had to use the line from Zero Punctuation, but I thought that was a very uh, a good description of him. Yeah. So with that in mind, if you're still actually using Facebook, make sure you go across to Settings and Apps and disable everything you can. So I went and downloaded my information and have redacted quite a bit of this. So apparently I registered in 2008. So this data is getting on towards 10 years old. Now I have to wonder how much digital data I have kept around from 10 years ago. Not a lot, and I bet some of it's got corrupted. Or maybe not, but anyway, the information from Facebook appears to be pristine. Hmm. Yeah, makes me wonder just how much they have stored. So the timeline literally goes all the way back to 2008, back when I was playing Mob Wars. Hmm. I got very into this game and it pretty much took over my life and this is one reason why I actually got out of Facebook. So what I found there is this massive gap between me using it well quite regularly in 2008 and 2009 then I got into using Ubuntu and doing YouTube videos and I pretty much stopped using it. So apparently I had a bit of a chronic alcohol problem back in 2008. Hmm. Well admittedly I did drink a lot back then. So apparently I'm still playing Mob Wars in uh, 2009. So yeah, that history goes all the way back to the beginning of time on Facebook. Photos, well, if you want that cheeky wallpaper there, that is available to download off my website. I'll leave a link to that one. I'm not leaving a link to that photo of me with that, uh, that's a Ford Mustang, isn't it? Hmm. Gormless, well, what do you want? It's quite a few years ago. Videos, surprisingly nothing. Friends, well it has all friend requests and declined friend requests. So this was when I was playing that Mob Wars game. So yes, I obviously declined quite a lot back then. Events, I don't know. Did I agree to go to these at all? I, I don't remember. Security, well all the activity of me logging in, the system I use, the browser, and the IP address. Now, any IPs I've redacted are still well, relatively valid. IPs that I've not redacted are from an old internet service provider and therefore irrelevant. So yes, uh, oh, well, we can see the progression of the Firefox versions. <laughs> Firefox 3721, 19, yeah. Quite a few different Firefox versions. Oh, and back when uh, we had Firefox 3.6, and they went through quite a few version numbers there, didn't they? Rather than jumping full increment version numbers as they do now. Quite surprising they've kept all that information. Oh, and they started 
inferring locations from IP addresses as well. And it appears they've got more accurate as time has gone on. Advertisers with your contact info. I don't even know. What can I say? I don't remember doing that at all. And installed applications. So my Facebook information is relatively sparse, to be honest, because I don't use the app on my mobile and I've gone long periods without using it. I have seen from some of my friends that they have full information from their Android devices that includes calls they have made, texts they have sent, which is quite surprising. That's quite a lot of creep. And even one where my friend had literally just added a new contact, hadn't even spoken to him, and that appeared in Facebook as well. And he literally added the contact a couple of days or so prior. I believe, I believe he just added it through the Android contacts list and nothing to do with Facebook Messenger. So yeah, it's quite surprising just how much Facebook reads into the mobile devices and reads out of other information. So does this surprise me? Well, not entirely. I think what does surprise me is the extent that they have kept the information back, historic information and what appears to be quite good records. And the other thing that surprised me is just how much information they're taking from other applications on mobile devices. So that was a look at my Facebook history. Thanks for watching. See you all later.